Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hello. My name is Brittany, my channel name is Browns Bratterstein, and this is Bowscat Velasquez. Today's video, as I'm sure you gather from the title and the thumbnail, is going to be my Sagittarius makeup look. <laughs> you. So cute. Um, we were almost done with my Zodiac inspired makeup series, and I was actually going to film this. Say hello to Jack. I was actually going to be filming this uh, maybe a week ago or two weeks ago because I tend to film them in advance because I want to make sure that they are put up during the season of that particular zodiac. So, but I didn't because wait, the colors of the Sagittarius are plums, purples, dark blues, things like that, and I had a specific palette that was coming in the mail. And when I looked at the color story for Sagittarius, I realized that this palette was perfect to use for that sign, and that is. The Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson mini controversy palette. So today's video is going to be me doing my Sagittarius makeup look with the mini controversy palette. I'm so excited because I haven't used this on camera yet. This is going to be the first time I'm actually using it. I'm not sure if this video is going to go up first or if the video where I do the whole collection is going to go up first. So if that's already up, I'll link it up there. If it's not, it is coming. I got so many things to talk about um, and I'm going to be filming that video next. So for now, let's go ahead and look at this bad boy right now. Okay, this is the mini controversy palette. Oh my goodness, I have used this several times. This is not gonna be my first time using it. This is just my first time using it on camera. So let's do that. Let's do that right now, right now. If you would like to see my Sagittarius inspired makeup look using the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson mini controversy palette, just keep on watching. Okay, okay, here we are, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. Um, really quick though, I have a very, very serious request. I need you guys to do me like, the biggest favor ever please like comment and subscribe there's like something new happening with youtube where apparently if they think your channel is not getting enough engagement they'll just delete your channel off the internet which i was like oh that's tight because i have been doing youtube for two to three years and they might just get rid of my channel without notice which would be a little devastating because i also do like my vlogs which i consider to be like modern day home movies for me so like comment subscribe join the brat pack new videos every week until they Delete me from the internet. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull you closer and let's start putting some eyeshadows on these eyeballs. They are still crusty, so if you see any issues with the, the blending in this region, I'm still going through it with my eyelids, but I couldn't wait anymore. I've had these palettes for like, I don't know, like a week or two now, and I haven't gotten to film with them yet, so let's go. Okay, we are real close. Hi. Hi. What is that from? Monsters, Inc.? Lilo and Stitch. Okay. So I'm going to start with putting some tape on my eye to hold the fallout or, you know, I just want to make a sharp line. Oh, no, no, no. What I'm going to start with is telling you happy Thanksgiving. When you're watching this, it actually is not Thanksgiving, but it's Thanksgiving when I'm filming this. My family and I are doing Thanksgiving on Friday because we're all adults and have different, you know, families that we have to do everything with. We're married. we got husbands. we got to do stuff with their husbands and their families and everything. So it's Thanksgiving right now because I'm doing my Thanksgiving with my family tomorrow. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are so full that you can't breathe. This is my favorite weekend of the entire year because in my profession, I get an automatic four day weekend. I hope you do too. And I just love it. I just love it. I love food. <laughs> I love to eat. I love to see my family. I really am sad that I have to wait till tomorrow, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, tape is applied. Tape is applied. Let's get into this. So I am going to start with this blue shade here called Cancelled, and I'm going to work that into my crease. Actually, I'm going to use a smaller brush. I was going to use this big brush, but I think I'm going to use a smaller brush, because I think I want to keep it a little lower in the eyes. Lower in the eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's words. This little guy will be better. So I'm going to just give him a little dip dip. Give him a little dip dip. A little dab dab. A little brush brush. I just shove my fingernail into that blue shade and I want to die. Well, it's beautiful. It's pigmented. That's cool. So did you guys watch the Shane and Jeffrey series on Shane's channel? Um, no one in my real like life that I see daily is into what I'm into, so I haven't gotten to talk to about it as much as I've wanted to. 
my friend Bianca, which I don't know if Bianca watches my videos. If you do, hello, Bianca. I actually don't know if you do. But it's this girl that I've been friends with online for like a decade, probably. And we grew up in the same hometown, but never, I don't think we've ever actually met in person, but we've been friends for a long time online. And she is into it. So she and I have been talking about it. Every time there's a new video posted, she sends me the link to make sure I've been seeing it. And we've been talking about all the launches and we've talked about the series. I'm just curious, have you guys, did you guys watch it? I know that he, Jeffrey, is a controversial character. So some people just won't watch it just on principle. Lack of interest, lack of um, wanting to support, which is cool. Everybody to each their own. I'm just curious if you've been watching it and what you thought. It's over now. It just finished and I wept. <laughs> I wept because I really like Shane Dawson and I feel like he's a very relatable person and I like to see good things happen to people. That's, all, that's really where it's at. Whether you think he's a good person or Jeffrey's a good person or what, it's nice to see good things happen for people. So seeing him so happy and things go so well for him made me very happy because that's who I am as a person. And yeah, that's what's most important is who I am as a person, not who the person I'm watching this because I'm not going to let other people's actions dictate my actions. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm now taking the shade controversy, which is this purple one. And I'm going to put that on the inner portion. Yeah, like that. That looks pretty. These cats, man, are making so much noise right now. And now so is my dog. I'm gonna request that you do not growl. I know you want, hmm? My dog hates my cat. So if you hear some growling, please, please ignore it. My dog is a grumpy old man. He is nine years old and he just doesn't want to put up with this cat's bullshit, but they both want to hang out with me right now. So what am I gonna do? so annoying that they hate each other because they've been in each other's lives their entire life like i got bows which is the white cat when jack was a puppy jack was like a year jack's only a year older than him they've been together their entire lives but they hate each other well jack hates him <sighs> okay i'm gonna take flat earth and i'm gonna blend out the edge of the blue with the oh you know what actually no no what i'm gonna okay this is where I wish this was live because I want to know, should I blend out the blue with the purple and blend out the purple with the blue or should I keep them the way they are? My hand is so blue. Uh, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be weird. I'm going to blend out the blue with the purple shade exposed and I'm going to blend out the purple with the blue shade flat earth. <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> really powdery. Wait a second. That didn't work. Okay. Um. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Shades more powdery than I thought, so dust that off and blend out the edges and let's see if that's even going to do anything that we want. Mm. Not really. Never mind. I'm going to blend it out with flat earth, which is the blue shade. So in your town, was it raining on Thanksgiving? Because in my town it is and it's really, really nice. Um, I went outside this morning. It sucks because I wanted to drive down to my grandma's tonight so we could just be there to wake up with her in the morning to start cooking because I'm the one that does all the Thanksgiving cooking in my family. Ever since my mom moved out of state, I've taken on that role in the family, the arranger and the cooker and the planner. Like, that's who I've become because I'm the 31-year-old lady, you know? What was I saying? I don't remember. I've lost my train of thought. Ugh, again, 31-year-old lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sad that it's raining because I wanted to go see my grandma early, but I'm happy it's raining because it's beautiful and I love the rain. And I went to walk my dog this morning and he does not love the rain. So he was not having it. He went out, he went to the bathroom and he immediately headed back towards the house. He's cool in that way. He is very, um, I wouldn't say vocal because, you know, he doesn't speak English, but he's very good at letting you know what he wants and doesn't want. And he'll let you know if he wants a long walk, like he will pull you down that walk and he'll let you know when he was, when he doesn't want to walk. So as soon as he was done going to the bathroom, he was like beeline right for the house. And I knew, so I took him back in and then I went out again by myself to walk around in the rain. I hope if you are shopping today, you know, having to go out and having to interact with people who have to work on Thanksgiving, that you're being extra nice. And if you are going to a place where tipping is allowed, I hope you are tipping well. I went to Starbucks this morning. It's my Starbucks by my house that I go to every morning. 
And they weren't allowed to accept tips, and I was really upset about that, because if I had known, I probably wouldn't have gone. I thought Starbucks employees were allowed to accept tips, which is why I still went in the first place. But they're not. So I was like, that sucks. You should be able to, because you're working on Thanksgiving, and nobody wants to be doing that. Okay, now... I'm going to take the simulation, that blue shade that I ruined, and I'm going to start working it on the outer corner over here with this flat brush. Picked up pretty well. Let's press it down here. Okay, cool. I'm kind of like deepening up this area with the shade. Can you hear the rain? I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but it just picked up again. And it sounds beautiful. I want to intensify that blue a little bit. It's a really pretty blue. I know people don't like blue eyeshadow, but you know what? I do. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. I think it looks pretty. Yeah. It's all over me though. That's the one thing. So now I'm going to blend out that blue a little bit more into that wing shape. So what type of video would you like to see with the Conspiracy palette? There are so many shades. I was thinking of doing like a stink selects, but I also kind of want to just do like a standalone like review and swatches and stuff, but then I also want to do like a f many looks one palette. I, I just, what kind of video do you want with it? Because I'm so excited to film with it and I'm so excited to keep playing with it. I really am pleased with that purchase. Okay. So now what should I put on the lid? I really don't know. I think I want to put expose that like light light shade. I'm gonna put it on with my finger. Just right on the lid. I did another look, actually, like one of the first looks I did as soon as I got this palette was with these colors. If I can find a way and remember and find the picture, I'll put it on the screen. Um, I really, really liked it. It was kind of like a halo eye with purple in the center and blue everywhere else, and I really liked it, but I wanted to do something different this time, and I do like this as well. So, now that that is done, I'm going to peel off the, uh, the stickums. So let's get that nice makeup porn. One, two, three. That's like, oh, that does it for me, you know? Okay, and... Mm, and they're actually relatively even, I think. Wait. Yeah, that looks some... Um, as even if it's got... As even as it's gonna. Okay, lower lash line. I think I want to go in heavy with the purple because we have a lot of blue on the top. So let's do that. Heavy purple eyes. Going into controversy again. I'm going to start on the outer corner and I'm going to really work that into the lower lash line and blow it out. Oh, I forgot to say, if you are a Sagittarius, happy birthday or belated birthday or almost birthday. Totally, like, I'm off my game today. It's my first, like, words that are coming out of my mouth since waking up. It is morning. Husband's still in the bedroom. And it usually takes me, like, a video or two to, like, wake up and get my groove on. And so I'm sorry about that. Happy birthday. Because birthdays are very, very important. So happy birthday. I'm also going to take a little bit of Cancelled, the blue shade, the matte one, I'm going to put it just right here, just blend those two together so it connects with that wing a little better. Yeah, ooh, yeah, just like that. And it kind of creates like a nice navy-ish color right there, which I like quite a bit. Ooh, yeah, I like this eye look. Um, okay, inner corner highlight. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to... <gasps> Husband? All right, for the inner corner, I think I'm going to go matte. I'm going to take Expose. I'm going to pack that on in there. 
pack that on in that inner corner. And I had already put my face highlighter there, so a little bit of like that glow is going to come through that shade, which I think is really pretty. Oh, yeah, that looks really nice. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to add a little more on the lid because I lost a little bit of that right in the center. Ooh, yeah, right there. That happens with these milky shades. I need like a sticky base and I uh, powdered it, so. Okay, so I'm going to quickly throw on some mascara and choose a lip and I will be right back to show you this finished Sagittarius Inspire Makeup Look. Give me just a second. Okay. Okay guys, this is the completed look. Okay guys, this is the completed look using the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Mini Controversy Palette inspired by the Sagittarius. What do you think? I think Jack should be quiet. That's what I think, but you know, he seems to disagree. But anyways, what do you think of this makeup? I quite like it. I think it's cute. I think purple and blue look cute together. I think this looks good together. Let me look at it up close. I think it looks good. So anyways, guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you come back to see the whole conspiracy collection video and to see my December birthstone video that's going to be coming up. And please, of course, leave any suggestions down below on what I should do for next year's series because I'm about to be done with my birthstone and my zodiac series and I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided. I've got ideas, but I don't know for sure what I want to do. So let me know down below. Um, of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Brad Pack. Love to have you here. Bows would love to have you here. Jack would love for Bows to leave. So, you know, yeah. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much when, for hanging out with me. When you could literally be anywhere else in the world. Now I'm gonna go back to just hanging out with my family, which is my cats and my dog and Chris, and uh, doing my Thanksgiving at home. I hope yours was great. I hope life is great, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.